Hey guys, what's going on? It's AJ, back to another video. Today we're going over whether you should play Monster Hunter World in 2022. Let's get right into it. To be honest with the storyline, if you really care about a good storyline, this game probably is not for you. But if you like hunting down monsters and killing them, it's definitely for you. Quests are very enjoyable. Most quests have you hunt down a specific monster in a region. Other quests consist of tracking down specific footprints of new monsters, which can be quite tedious if you get unlucky with not finding the footprints. There are a few expeditions, including Zora Magnus, which are slow, but the hunting expeditions are a lot more fun. There are also many optional quests that you gain access to as your hunter rank increases. There are lots of optional quests that you can unlock that are a bunch of fun to do. The optional quests consist of like hunting down a two monsters at the same time, or three monsters, or just one. Um, it also consists of capturing certain monsters, so they're all a lot of fun to do. Another part that you unlock as you go are arena battles. The arena battles are fun as they give you a certain set of armor and weapons, and your goal is to kill the monster as quickly as possible. These are a bunch of fun. You can do these with, like, you know, up to four people. Um, yeah, it's, it's really fun trying to, like, you know, set a certain time or get a faster time than your friends. Um, now for Hunter Rank, Hunter Rank increases up until level 16 by just doing the main storyline. Uh, the Hunter Rank, when, as it increases, you unlock higher levels of armor, and uh, eventually you unlock high rank quest. After that, you begin leveling up your Hunter Rank by just hunting uh, high rank monsters. Um, another thing is, I have not played the Iceborne missions, but I have heard they are very enjoyable. The combat system is great in my opinion. There are no monsters that are the same in the way you go about to hunt them. There are also many different ways to hunt these monsters. There are 14 different weapons to hunt a total of 94 different monsters across 5 intricate maps. This causes the game not to be too repetitive as there are so many monsters to hunt in many different areas. All 14 of the weapons are very different. The weapons include Great Sword, Sword and Shield, Dual Blades, which are my personal favorite, Long Sword, Hammer, Hunting Horn, Lance, Gun Lance, Switch Axe, Charge Blade, Insect Glaive, White Bow Gun, and lastly, Heavy Bow Gun. They all have a very different playstyle, and they do take some time to get used to. Crafting is a huge part of the game, whether being about crafting armor and weapons and food or traps or ammunition. There's a, Crafting is a very huge part of the game. Uh, crafting the armor, each armor set has different perks and abilities, um, and each armor sets have different certain uh, defense against certain creatures for example some armor sets are better uh, for defending against fire damage or ice damage or dragon damage while others are better against like poison damage and such but more for the crafting um, you can craft the armor and weapons through fighting bosses um, where after you defeat a monster you have the ability to harvest it and also if you break off certain parts such as their tail you can also harvest the tail which gives you uh, which tends to give you pretty rare parts that you might need to craft certain weapons. Another huge part of crafting is is making potions and food and traps and ammunition. All these things are super super helpful when um, battling the monsters. If you're using a light bow gun or a heavy bow gun, you almost you almost have to craft ammunition between most missions to have enough ammo to be able to hunt down the monsters successfully. And then for the food, the food allows you to buff your health and stamina, which is crucial when fighting. Now for multiplayer, the player base is still alive with roughly 25 to 30,000 concurrent players. I originally started playing this game because me and my friends need a fun game that we could play together. This game definitely did that. It is really fun to go on expeditions and missions with friends as it gives you good rewards when going on missions with others. This game is just really fun to play with your friends, and I highly recommend it because of that. Also, if you have enjoyed watching so far, consider subscribing. Really appreciate it. About 98% of the people watching are not subscribed, so please subscribe. Now for the new DLC. Um, somewhat recently, they came out with Iceborne. It adds a ton of new content, including new missions and a brand new area. I've not personally played it, but I've heard only good things about this DLC. Now for the cons. The game does start off a bit slow, the first quest is a little bit boring, it does take a little bit of time to get into the game. There's definitely a learning curve to understand the combat. Combat is pretty complex, as there are 14 different weapons, and they all do play drastically different, so it does take some time to learn how to use each of the weapons. Another con of the game, sometimes when hunting monsters, especially flying monsters, they tend to flee around the entire map, 
which can take, you know, 15, 20 minutes of chasing a, a monster across the map, which is not that much fun. <laughs> Another negative is when they added the new DLC, Iceborne, they gave all players defender armor, um, which is armor that starts off with 50 armor points at the beginning of the game, which is seriously overpowered as the armor that you can craft at the beginning of the game only offers two armor instead of 50 points. And I, in my opinion, this kind of ruins the early game as it makes it way too easy and you can't really die to any of the beginning bosses. And yeah, and they did this to try and push players through the game so they could get to the Iceborne DLC faster. But I recommend playing it without it um, as it just makes it more fun. Overall, I recommend playing this game and trying it. I've had a lot of fun playing Monster Hunter World and hope other people enjoy the game as well. It is about five years old, but it still offers a good time. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe.